2022. Well, Breakfast Television is on Royal Baby Watch. Joining us live from Toronto with the latest is Editor-in-Chief from Hello Canada Magazine, Alison Eastwood. Good morning, Alison. So there's a big feature in the current issue of Hello Magazine about the Royal Baby because the whole world is waiting. That's right, Courtney, and we are so excited at Hello Canada. Thank you for introducing us with the national anthem. Um, baby could be coming any day now, as you say. Um, technically, um, he or she is due mid-July, but as those of us who have had babies know, um, that could mean really any time. So what are the details of the birth? Do you know where Catherine will have the baby? Yes, Kate will be at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, London, which is where Prince William and Prince Harry were born. So they are pros at handling security and that side of things. She'll be in a private wing called the Lindo Wing, where um, they have satellite TV and even a wine list for when they want to celebrate. And um, it's a public hospital, though. It's a state hospital, and uh, they are taking measures right now. They're blocking off parking spaces. They are controlling the press who are already setting up camp out there. But it's a very exciting time, and we can only imagine how Kate and William are feeling right now. Well, and I know there's been lots of speculation about the gender or the names. Have you heard anything that seems somewhat official or legitimate? <laughs> <laughs> No, the palace, well, the palace probably don't even know. It's obviously a personal choice, but I mean, this baby sort of represents a, a brand, if you will, of, you know, it's, it's representing the monarchy, and William and Kate aren't going to make any outlandish choices when it comes to the name. They'll probably stay fairly traditional. My personal favorite today is Alice for a girl and Arthur for a boy. Oh, that would be very cute. Now, there, is some, <laughs> there has been some rumors that maybe Diana well, Diana's definitely um, con being considered, we know, as one of the middle names, um, and Elizabeth as well, after the Queen. And another name that we might see is Philip, um, after his, his or her grandfather, um, sorry, after William's grandfather, um, because they're very close. And um, we'll just wait and see. It'll be a, a kind of um, a mix of traditional and emotional choices for them. Now, Allison, what do you think is going to happen after the baby is born? Are, are they going to kind of head out of the spotlight for a bit, or do you think they're just going to continue living their lives and being in the limelight? <laughs> well, William and Kate have a bit of a problem in terms of their living quarters. They're going to live in refurbished apartments at Kensington Palace, which is where Diana used to live, but they're not finished yet. So they're going to be living um, in a cottage, um, a small cottage, they say, um, it probably isn't really that small on the grounds of Kensington but um, shortly after that Kate wants to actually move back in with her parents while she you know while the baby's an infant which it will be great for the baby in terms of a home environment um, it might pose a few more security challenges now I want to ask you it sounds strange to connect a baby with economic benefits but it would be huge for that country Yes, Britain's having a baby boom in more ways than one. Uh, the royal baby is estimated to be worth about $400 million to the British economy in terms of souvenirs and you know, baby-related products, even baby shower gifts. Uh, we've seen Kate's, uh, Kate's parents' company, Party Pieces, is offering um, you know, decorations for baby showers and um, things like that. So a, a lot of people are uh, anticipating this baby for, for more reasons than just history. Well, thank you very much, Allison, for bringing us the latest, and we can't wait. Thanks, Courtney. And that's Allison Eastwood from Hello Canada Magazine, the current issue featured on the Royal Baby, which could be born any day now. And as mentioned, Breakfast Television is on Royal Baby Watch. We'll keep you covered. More BT coming up. Stay with us.